So this is your last call. If you guys don't know, we usually look at the end of the week. So that way you guys are aware of what is leaving from 801, Banshee, Zer, and Eververse in that order. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you can do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help. I also do apologize that it's taken me quite a bit to make some content, but I do have a lot of content to put through. So, or to post, I should say. So expect a lot of armor videos um expect some other video games as well specifically final fantasy 14 world of warcraft and uh warframe i'm still working on those videos and i'm really excited because i finally get to cover another game aside from destiny 2 so we'll see how good those are so again appreciate y'all let's just get into it so to start off let's look at the fit for the video so if you guys don't know this is the subline piece uh, unfortunately it's still bugged um, kind of because it's just supposed to show the subline piece the glow is not here for some reason interesting oh I think it's because it's I'm using the actual piece hold on let me see um, yeah so that's it so yeah I I love this I love this set um, for the helmet thunderhead mask TME erp custom grips with the TME or uh, cloak Stetson the cowboy hat with the deep pockets ornament for the lucky pants and then obviously the subline piece for the for, for the for the shader canis coat was what we're using uh just because it's a really good shader um really like that like like auburn color i don't yeah pretty much and yeah this is a super cool set this is definitely like the most iconic cowboy set that i've made that being said i've made a lot of cowboy sets so like at this point, I might just make a video of just showcasing all of the cowboy sets that I've made. That actually sounds like a pretty good idea, like cowboy and aliens, aliens type stuff. So that way the warlocks actually have like another style just because their, their helmet for their cowboy set does not look that great in my opinion. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this set. So as for 801, we're going to be looking at Envious Touch for the first shader. <clears throat> This doesn't look bad. This is going to be looking way better with plate armor because it has a really cool um, like thing right here. We have Cairo's gold. I yeah, I'm not a fan of the yellow and red, um, especially this kind of yellow. And then new new monarchy succession, which is a good shader. So yeah, this actually looks really really cool. Very bright red, which for those who are liking that, it is pretty cool and for the armor sets they're all right here so hunters i'm definitely going to tell you right now the chest piece is going to be really good for a cowboy set like specifically if you didn't want to use the set that i the chest piece that i use this is also a really good uh, chest piece for that the arms are pretty cool the helmet's cool the boots and the mar and the cloak is the only piece where i'm like whatever's on for the titans if i remember correctly it is yeah so everything but the boots i think are pretty terrible and i usually say i like them but it's just they're terrible because they don't shader well specifically the um the orange color does not change color so that's on literally everything but the boots don't think the boots are perfect because the boots also shader really terribly in the sense that like when you combine them with certain shaders it looks really weird which is very unfortunate and then warlocks um i just like the helmet and the chest piece the arm boots and bond are kind of on the more boring side in my opinion so i still think you should pick up some of these sets but i will say some of them are stronger than others let me know what you guys think as for banshee we have chroma rush with heating up and tap to trigger spare rations with swash and and rapid hit really this is definitely a pve roll i mean to be fair swash is nice for pvp um i don't know if this would help you three tap but a range finder too not range finder sorry range for the for the thing F uh, i'm gonna pick it up just in case um the vision with killing wind and one for all fire feature with moving target and opening shot and then temptation hook with lifeless or tireless blade and vorpal weapon i was gonna say lifeless blade that would would have sounded cool so yeah let me know what you guys are gonna be picking up i just picked up the spares just in case it's good but that's the only one that I would say is like worth picking up. So yeah, let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. As for Zer, we're going to go over to him in a bit. But yeah, I am currently working on a few things. Um, Titans, you can expect your video coming out tomorrow. Specifically the Sublime set. Just because, unfortunately... Um, actually, I don't know. Maybe. We'll see how, fa how fast I can push this video out. But 
most likely it will be coming out on Monday. So, oh, that's right. I forgot that they were selling this now. Uh, Fighting Lion Catalyst. Interesting. Trinity Ghoul. This is actually a dope uh, catalyst. Definitely pick it up if you can. Wormhurst Crown with some mediocre rolls. Some more mediocre rolls. All of these are mediocre. I want to kind of buy this, but at the same time, 41 strange coins is kind of wild to ask. And then for the other weapons, we have Hawk Moon, Sweet Business, Wave Splitter, and the Colony. For the other weapons, Escape Velocity with Threat Detector and Quick Draw, Wolf Wolf Tone Draw Draw with Threat Detector and Cornerstone. Also, this is a red border weapon, if I remember correctly. I'm pretty sure it's a red border weapon. We'll ch we'll double check in a bit. Uh, Wishbringer with Pulse Monitor and Opening Shot. The Day Aside with Hip Fire Grip and Elemental Capacitor. Temptation Silk with Energy Transfer and Surrounded. Canis Major with Surplus and Threat Detector. And then Quick Fane with Relentless Strikes and Unguard. Most likely the other class specific weapons are here as well. So that's pretty much it for the weapons. Nothing too crazy aside from this one. Let me actually double check if it is a red border weapon. So it should be under here, under bow. Yeah, I don't see it here. Yeah, I don't see it. So most likely it's uh, not a red border weapon. Then that sh is that the one from Season of the Lost? Because if that's the case, then yeah, that's definitely not a red border weapon. Um, let me just double check real quick. Oh, it is. Oh wait, this is okay. Yeah, this is not a red border weapon. So yeah, you can pretty much ignore that one if you really want to, but. Yeah, that is no, that's not up for the reset. So the armor is the uh, I fucking hate this armor, dude. So let me go check real quick while you guys are looking at the armor rotate. So yeah, I don't really care for this armor. It's the simulator suit set for all of the classes. Um, hunters, I think God, it sucks because dude, like the superior vision ornaments is way better. That's the one from Warmind, the ornaments, and that one's way better because the simulator helmet. It, the visor is actually super black so the bottom piece is the only piece that's showing not not the case for the regular simulator suit which is very unfortunate hopefully bungie starts to push out the ornaments for the factions because those were cool like legitimately but for this set honestly i would still tell everyone just to pick it up if you really want to pick this armor up but you don't want to have the future war cult stuff or the other classes as well i will showcase which armor sets you can pick up for the hunters that armor set is actually going to be the um what is it called um it's gonna be the exodus dawn down suit this is the armor set from nessus so if you want to get that armor but not without all of that uh, future war cult insignia go to nessus talk to what's her face i forget her name and then just do all of the stuff you have to do for her and then she'll give you the armor which is better in my opinion just because you don't have that future war cult stuff for the titans i think that armor set is also nessus i think everyone's is nessus for sure so yeah the simulator suit for the titans i would tell you pick up the helmet for sure i think the helmet is really cool especially if you combine it with uh one of the playlist armors because it also does have that weird like camera thing on the left side for the helmet on the arms it's actually on the right side so it does look really cool with that the chest piece is also really cool for the titans i think the arms are kind of like oh they're okay they're not the best they're not the worst they're just like in the middle boots are pretty cool and i think the mark is pretty cool as well for the warlocks i would just tell you pick up the nessus set i'm not the biggest fan of this um that being said, the Nessus set still has the same problem. The, the fact that the chest piece has that like orange lining, the Nessus set also has that problem as well. But I still, I, I would always tell you guys if you ha if you can afford it, always pick all of the armor set up just because you might never know when you might need it. So I'm just going to pick one of these up just to see what the chances are of getting something like decent. Um, I can't see it because, okay. So that's pretty much it for Zer. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from him. But let me go check real quick what I got for this. So like, 
it's it sucks because like i i would like an easier way not easier way but like a faster way to farm these or like a more targeted system which i know i think we're getting because honestly trying to get like the build you want from these uh class items are kind of annoying i'm also on the wrong side i'm on the wrong person sorry um trying to like just just to get a build going you have to get like so lucky uh spirit of the dragon and spirit of girl falcon that's not terrible like i'm definitely not like oh so ugh. um using your class ability reloads all weapons and increases weapon handling speeds for a brief time and then your wo void weapons gain volatile rounds after you emerge from being invisible so like i don't like this better than the one i already have because the one i already have has spirit of galinor with spirit of girl falcon which means this is my void build but yeah we're up to eververse now as for eververse this is the last week of solstice specifically like last two days if i'm being honest so if there are some things you want to pick up definitely pick them up i will most likely be picking up the glows maybe still deciding on it because like i don't know it's really rough because like part of me wants to pick it up but a part of me also wants to pick up this one instead even though the glows are pretty pathetic i could still utilize it but if I don't pick them up, then that just means it wasn't as important for me. So, uh, Tangerine Gloss. We have Regal Daring, which definitely you should pick up. It's a really, really good shader. Very, really good gold and red and white. Um, Crab Cycle. <clears throat> we have Guardian Pride. And then for the stuff at the bottom, we have Raging Lupus with for the Jade Rabbit. Surfer's Friend, Sunny Day Shell, Ramen Shop Rambler. I'm still thinking about picking this up, bro. Solar Reverence, Lovely Look. And then for the Transmet Effects, we have Baruch Entrance. We have Cabal Shieldbreaker. Beach Ball Effects. And then for the shaders, Golden Age Wine. Bruised Blush. Oiled Algae. And then Tangerine Gloss again. So that is pretty much it for your weekly update. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from this week. Honestly, there's not much I would really recommend. Um... Especially if you've been picking, if you've been watching my content, you guys will would have already picked up most of the things that I've told you to pick up because, yeah, there's not much to pick up this week. Uh, so, yeah, next, I think what next week is just regular, regular week. Nothing new, I'm pretty sure, because um, I don't think that new act is up next week. I could be wrong. Let's find. Holy shit! Yes, Act Three releases tomorrow, not tomorrow, but Tuesday. That's cool because we're gonna get new stuff. We're gonna get new weapons. And I think that's it, actually. <laughs> I don't know what else we're going to get. I'm, I'm excited because the next half of this unlocks, which means we can finally get this helmet. Which I'm definitely I'm definitely going to review this helmet. Um, just a helmet, though. Nothing too crazy. And hidden legendary weapon reward. So these are the new legendary weapons that we're going to be getting. Um, I will say I do like this new format of having essentially a, an extra 100 levels worth of stuff to do. To be fair, I wish the I wish the rewards were a little bit better, but I think I'll make a video explaining my thoughts on the new season pass thing because 200 levels um, is pretty cool. I just wish the rewards were just a little bit better. Like I said, it's just some of this is just like I already have this specifically. Like, why are you giving me an untethered edge cape? I already have this unless this would be a cool way to make this set more unique if they gave us the artifact or not the artifice slot. If they gave us like an artifice slot, I think that would be cool because then it's like, oh, well, like now I can actually have this armor and have this bonus as well. I think that would be cool because then it would make the armor actually unique and not just like, well, why would I care about an armor set that I get at, let me see. Okay. Yeah. So that's that. Why would I care about getting this at level 164 when it doesn't do anything unique? It's just a cloak, nothing else. So if it gave us like an artifice slot or something along those lines then i think that would be really cool because it would be on top of echoes of glory which gives us this as well so 
that would be like one thing I would do. Another thing would probably be to increase the Echo Engrams. Either have like three that you get from these after like 150 and beyond because only getting one Echo Engram is kind of disappointing. So get, get getting like three or maybe we're able to choose like maybe it's an Echo um, specific like thing that you can get. I think that would be cool because it like the last 150 rewards are not that great. Again, we're going to go through all of them starting from 100. We're going to go through like, okay, so like after we get all of this, how is everything else? And then we'll go through them in each and basically judge if it's worth it or not, which I'm going to be honest. No, it's not. So let me know what you guys think. I appreciate y'all. Be safe. I'll see you guys later.